Hello all, today in this video we are going to see a very easy topic, okay, very very easy topic. See it is very simple, we are going to predict the structure of boranes, carboranes and metalloboranes, okay. Uh, you might have known the structure of boranes, okay, how to find out the structures. But here in this video we are going to find out the boranes and also for metalloboranes, okay. These questions are very important, you should not leave these type of questions, it is very simple. If you find this question, you can easily answer, right. So, first of all, how we have to predict the structure for these boranes? It is very simple. See here. If you are having borane in this format, okay, 2 plus BN, HN, 2 plus, then it is super close. If it is BN, HN power 0, it is hyper close. And if it is BN, HN 2 minus, then it is close. For 4 minus nido, 6 minus arachno, 8 minus hypo, and 10 minus, it is clado. Okay, this is very simple uh, one. Okay, very simple topic. So, see here, first of all, what you should do is, suppose you are having a borane. Okay, for example, see if you are having B4, H10. Okay, B4, H10. What you should do? Say I told you B N H N. So number of boron and number of hydrogen should be same. Okay. So in this case B four you are having. The hydrogen also should have that number. So it is B four H four. Right. Next the balance is H six. Okay. The first thing that you should do is you have to write it in the B N H N formula. Okay. So B H four. Now H6, H will be uh, eliminated as H plus right. So if you consider like this, then here H6, okay. Then 6 H plus will move. So you will have a charge of 6 minus, okay. B4, H4. Now you are having a charge of 6 minus. I told you that if you are having a charge of 6 minus, then what will be the structure of borane? It is arachnoborane. Okay. So it is arachnoborane. Hence B4H10 will have a structure of arachno. Okay. Arachnoborane. It belongs to arachnoborane. This is how you have to find out. Okay. I think it is very simple topic. Okay. Very easy. And you can easily score marks. See you just take the screenshot of this. If you are have if you have these charges, then the structure will be like this. If you are having 2 minus, then closer 4 minus nido and 6 minus arachno. Okay. These three values are very important. These three are important because in the question they will frequently ask these structures. Closer nido and arachno. Okay. So now we are going to predict the structure for these. Already we have find out that B4H10 will have arachno right arachno right because b4 h4 balance six number of hydrogens okay number of hydrogens is six so you can directly write it as b4 h4 six minus so six minus means arachno right now see here in this case it is b5 h9 so how what will you do b5 then H should be 5, okay. So the balance will be 4 hydrogens. So you can write this as 4 minus. B5, H5, 4 minus. So what will you get if you have 4 minus? It is nidoborane, okay. Nidoborane. Right. 4 minus means nidoborane. Now, here B10, H12. So B10, H12, how can you write? B10, H10, then H2. So, this is in BN, HN format. You can write this H2 as 2 minus. Okay, 2 minus. So, you will get closer borane. Okay, 2 minus means closer borane. 4 minus means nidoborane. And 6 minus means arachnoborane. Okay, now see here. Now you can solve these questions, right? This is very simple. So, B11, H13, what will you get? It is closer borane, okay, closer borane. This one is nidoborane and this one is arachnoborane. Simply by seeing the structure, you can easily tell the uh, name, okay. See here in this case, it is B11, H13. 
okay so how can you write this b11 h11 2 minus okay here in this case it is b10 h10 2 minus right sorry it is 4 minus right 4 minus b10 h14 4 minus now see here it is b3 h9 b3 h3 so remaining 6 hydrogens are that 6 minus okay 6 minus it is very simple right now so far we have seen for neutral okay neutral molecules neutral borings this is over right now we are going to predict the structure for the ions okay in this in this case they have already given you a minus okay minus charge so what will you do now see it is you have to first step you have to write it as b n h n format okay so what will you do b2 h2 dot h5 and you are having a minus okay this is clear right now what will you do h5 means 5 minus right 5 minus you are already having a minus so 5 minus and another minus so it is 6 minus right minus 5 and here also minus 1 so it is minus 6 okay so b2 h2 power minus 6 so minus 6 means what will be the structure it is arachnoborane okay it is arachnoborane right very simple now so far we have seen for the boranes now we are going to see it for carboranes okay carboranes what are carboranes see carbon will be there okay carbon will be there in addition to the borane you will have carbon okay this is what is known as carboranes so in this case what will you do see b10 h12 i will write this okay c2 b10 h12 okay c2 b10 h12 so what will you do first of all you have to convert this carbon into bor b boron and hydrogen okay you have to convert this into boron and hydrogen because at last we will have bn hn format power minus right power minus so what you should do you have to convert this carbon also into boron and hydrogen right so what will you do for that what's the valence electron of carbon it is 4 right 2s to 2p2 2s to 2p2 you have the valence electron is 4 in case of boron 2s to 2p1 so valence electron is 3 right in case of hydrogen it is 1 it is having 1 as 1 so carbon is equivalent to boron hydrogen one carbon is equivalent to one boron and one hydrogen right because it is having four electrons which is equal to three plus one here you will have three valence electron here you will have one valence electron so one carbon is equivalent to one boron and one hydrogen okay so you can replace a carbon by one boron and one hydrogen simple right so if you have c2 b10 h12 see one carbon means one boron and hydrogen now you are having c2 so which means one carbon will be boron and hydrogen twice b10 h12 okay now now this is simple right see what will you get b2 h2 right b2 h2 b10 h12 now it is very simple just add these borons you will get b 12 now add these hydrogens it is h14 okay now it is simple we have converted carborane into borane form okay borane form simple now it is very easy now what will you do you have to convert this into bn hn format so b12 h12 and the remaining will be 2 minus so 2 minus means what will be the structure it is Closoborane. This closoborane. This is how you have to solve this question. 
okay i think this is very simple okay first what you have to do you have to understand that one carbon is equivalent to one boron and one hydrogen because carbon is having four valence electron and boron is having three valence electron and hydrogen is having one valence electron so you can replace one carbon by one boron and hydrogen okay if you know this concept then it is very simple to solve this problems so you are replacing the carbon by boron and hydrogen and you are converting the carborane into borane after that it is very simple just a bn and h bn hn format then 2 minus the power is 2 minus so it will be closer structure okay so this is how you have to predict the structure so we have got closer right closer structure for this okay now c2 b9 h11 2 minus so we have to find out for c2 b9 h11 2 minus c2 b9 h11 2 minus okay so what will you do you just try it on your own okay so first of all you have to convert this carbon into boron what will you do one carbon is equivalent to boron and hydrogen so carbon twice right next b9 h11 2 minus okay it's now simple so you have got a b2 h2 dot b9 h11 2 minus right so now you have to add these borons you will get b11 and add this bh i mean h13 2 minus right so we have converted carborane into borane form okay carborane to borane form now it is very simple what you have to do this b11 h13 2 minus you have to convert it into bnhn format okay bnhn format so what will you do b11 h11 okay dot h2 2 minus so you can write this as this h2 2 h plus it will eliminate as 2 h plus means 2 minus okay instead of h2 you can write this as 2 minus so b11 h11 4 minus totally 4 minus so what will be the structure for this carborane it is nido okay if you get 4 minus then it is nido okay simple right now this is nido right okay so now we are going to find out see this is very simple they have given directly that uh, bnhn format okay in the B, it is already in bnhn format no need to do anything see that just the charge it is 2 minus 2 minus means it is closer right so this is closer okay it is closer simple very simple now we are going to see in detail about metalloboranes. So far we have seen for neutral boranes and then charged species of boranes and then we have calculated for carboranes. Now we are going to do it for metalloboranes. Okay. So for metalloboranes, see here what you should do is in the question they have given it as cobalt. Eta 5, C5, HB4, H8. Okay. This is the question. So, what we are going to do is very simple. Keep this borane as such. Okay. As such. Don't uh, disturb this borane. So, already we have did the same in carborane. Similarly, here also you have to first calculate the number of electrons here. Okay. First of all, what is the valence electron of cobalt? It is 9. Right. Because cobalt will be in D7, 4S2 configuration. Right? D7, 4S2. Which means it has 9 valence electron. Cobalt will have 9 valence electron. Plus C5H5. Okay? C5H5, eta power 5. This is nothing but the ligand is like this. Cyclopentadienyl. Okay? Cyclopentadienyl. Uh, ligand is present. So... This is known as hepticity. This eta is known as hepticity. 5 means it will donate 5 electrons. Okay. Anything to the power eta means it is donating that much of electron. Okay. Eta power 5 means 5 electrons. Okay. It is very simple. So 9 plus 5. 
see this is a valence electron of cobalt and then this uh, eta 5 they have given so it is 5 okay 9 plus 5 now it is 14 now it is 14 so as per isolable analogy you can write this as 4 okay 4 because in transition elements if you want to know isolable analogy i will upload uh, it separately okay but so now you just understand that 14 and 4 are isolable okay they are isolable to each other similarly 13 and 3 will be isolable okay in the main group if you are having 14 means in the transition elements this is transition element d block element right if you are having 14 as the value in d block means in main block it will be 4 okay uh, these things i will tell you in detail in the next video but uh, you just try to understand that these 14 and 4 are isolable to each other okay 14 and 4 are isolable so you can write this as 4 right 4 means 1 boron and 1 hydrogen right because 4 electron means boron will have 3 valence electron and hydrogen will have 1 valence electron so totally 4 valence electron because you have to convert this into borane you can simply say this 4 means carbon okay this is also right you can say it as carbon then b4 h8 because totally we have converted this into 4 okay now carbon you can write it as carbon or 1 carbon is equal to 1 boron and hydrogen okay 1 boron and hydrogen now you just add these things b5 h9 b5 h9 so it is very simple we have converted into borane form okay from the metalloborane we have converted uh, to carborane or directly you can convert it to borane form so once you have converted to borane form this is very simple see b5 h9 right now you can write this as b5 h5 dot h4 so b5 h5 4 minus so 4 minus means it is nidoborane right it is nidoborane so this is nidoborane see how simple this topic is so you should not leave this topic it is very easier one okay very easiest one so you can score full marks whenever you have questions from boranes carboranes and metalloboranes okay so i will give you one example you try to find out the structure of that example right so i'm gonna give you an example manganese okay mn Uh, CO4 times okay CO4 times then you are having B3H8 okay so yes this is the structure okay you have to find out the structure I have given you a compound okay I have given you a metalloborane so you have to find out the structure of this okay so after finding out you just comment it comment your answer in the comment section i will check it whether it is correct or not okay so i i hope this video will be helpful for you if you find this video helpful then kindly share this with your friends stay tuned thank you so much for watching